I really gotta give it up for like Bohem and all them because they've always got plenty to say and they make it entertaining on top of it. <clears throat> I don't know, dude. It's fucking. It's not as easy as it looks to just keep talking and talking and talking about something that actually makes sense and is and is entertaining. I mean, after a few seconds, my mind just kind of goes blank and I don't have shit to talk about. Yeah. Like Bohemians, I don't know, dude. People like write out a script and shit, or what? They at least like, you know, write down what they want to say and, you know, kind of go off that or what? Because, I mean, I mean, I just draw a blank and I, I mean, I'm just rambling on and I make no sense, make absolutely no sense at all. Just, just, fuck, dude. I haven't even watched this yet and I'm fucking bored out of my mind. But, um, yeah. This is Little D. Diesel, actually. So, a lesson to all of you don't be an idiot. Don't pay $400 for a prey bed, a pure bread, if, uh, with your girlfriend who lives with you unless you're fucking married cause yeah I'm stuck with this dog now <clears throat> and I love the dog don't get me wrong he's a he's, but he's a hell raiser man I mean I redid the carpets twice probably gonna have to fucking tear them all apart and redo that I don't even have any idea how much that's gonna cost fucking I mean it's not that I mean I like having him and all that shit but I mean, I wish I'd used my head, you know, got him when I could afford it better. I mean, not that I'm completely broke, but, I mean, I don't make that much money. You know, I make enough to live and whatever, but, you know, I mean, I'm still just like most Americans. I'm still living paycheck to paycheck. If I got, you know, got fucked out of a paycheck, I'd probably be screwed, you know what I mean? I used to make pretty good money. I used to work at um, <clears throat> a place called Formica. Um, that was nice. But um, I, wrecked, I wrecked my crotch rocket and went out on disability, which I used to despise people that did it, but I mean, you know what? <clears throat> it had to be done. I mean, my shoulder was completely screwed. As you can see, I mean, no matter where it is, it's out of its socket. So, I mean, they're all trying to tell me, oh, you're never going to ride a bike again, you're never going to throw a football. Bullshit, man. I mean, I can still ride, no problem. I mean, I'm not going to be going, you know, GP races anytime soon. But I mean, you know, I limit myself to what I can do. That doesn't mean, oh, you know, that gives me an excuse to sit home and fucking balloon up to 400 pounds, you know what I mean? I mean, I can still hit the gym. I'm fucking, I'm, I'm a big guy, you know what I mean? I'm short, but, you know, I got plenty of meat on me. And I could, I, you know, it wouldn't hurt me to lose fucking 20 pounds. But I'm not that worried about it because it's not a big deal. 20 pounds is not hard to drop. And it's really just a matter of motivation. I don't really have that much motivation right now because I just kind of, Go to work, come home and sleep. My shift sucks. Sucks, sucks, sucks. I work 5 a.m. to 1.30 every day. And when I get home, I'm dead. And on the weekends, I have two jobs. You know, I'm also a bartender, so... Although, I think in order to be classified as an actual bartender, you actually have to have a bartending job. Which I don't. I mean, I'm certified and all that good stuff, but pretty much the only thing I've done is private house parties. Which is fun, and there's some extra cash. You know, I've been offered a few jobs, bartending gigs, but they're too far, man. I mean, too far from where I live, and it's just not worth it right now. You know, anyone that's out there looking to get into bartending, 
it's good. You know, it's good money once you get in somewhere solid. But it's not that easy. I mean, you either have to know someone or be a girl with big tits. Or actually just a girl that isn't that ugly. Now, if you got a penis, yeah, you have to... You gotta be bringing something extra to the table because, you know, you gotta know someone to get in this business because it's not easy. It's not easy at all. I mean, I graduated in June and I still haven't landed a gig. So, everyone out there who wants to get into bartending, it's, you know, it's a fun job. It's a good way to meet people and it's, it's good money. I mean, it's not like good, good money, like you're gonna be like, hundred thousand dollars a year or nothing like that but it'll pay the bills it'll put you through school okay basically if you want to go through school which is what I want to do it'll put you through school so I mean but it is it's very very stressful work I mean people drink drinks drinks it's a it's a lot it's a lot to take in you know and there's thousands of drinks out there and it's amazing how they do drinks too because all they do is they change fucking you know, they change one thing. They change it from a lemon to a fucking cherry. It's a whole different drink, which is pretty retarded, you know, but that's how they do it. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. I guess uh, talking isn't as hard as I thought once you kind of get going. But still, I mean, I got to <laughs> Boheme and them, man. They're fucking, they're awesome because they know what they're doing. Um... <clears throat> What's her name? Filthy Whore, I think it is. She's cool. I, I used to listen to watch her videos. She's kind of really depressing. Well, she's just kind of really depressing when she talks, and it really gets old fast. But I mean, for how many people she has, you know, subscriptions for, and people that view her videos, she's got to be doing something, right? You know what I mean? People got to like her, otherwise she wouldn't be one of the tops. Uh, it's just not really my thing, not anymore. And uh, that's about it. I'm going to wrap it up. Again, my name's Tofu, Tofuda. Um, sign on Tofuda's R6, which is, of course, my R6, Crotch Rocket. So you guys take it easy. Have a great weekend, and um, hopefully we'll catch up soon. Bye.